moments ago, Kyrie Irving met the media. Kyrie, number one, acknowledging that Boston is a, is a good team. Um, but from the net side of things, what do you feel is most frustrating about not being able to get over this hump or figure them out thus far? Uh, I think the frustrating part uh, is just, you know, the, the intangibles out there that we can control, meaning just the turnovers and the offensive rebounds. You know, I think for the last three games, you can see we've given a lot of easy baskets in transition. And um, though they're a good defensive team, they've proven, I feel like sometimes we just put in their lap and they go the other way and they get in transition. Um, and they make big time plays, you know, so I got to give them credit. Um, you know, they, they make it tough on, in the half court uh, for us to run plays. But I felt like uh, in the first half, we did some good things. and. You know, and in the last two games before this, we felt like we did some good things, but uh, tonight it just, just wasn't enough. Obviously, the stats not on your side as far as teams down 0-3, but as mm -hmm. a competitive veteran group, what do you say to each other? What's the communication like as you turn your attention to game four? There's not much to say. I mean, we know what it is. Um, you know, I think a few of us in this locker room have, have either been in this position uh, on the winning side or on, on the losing side. So. Uh, you just got to take your lessons, learn what you can from this, um, and, and just get ready for Monday. You know, no time to hold your head, no time to think about what everyone else is saying. It's just, let's go play basketball. Kyrie, you were, you were on that Cavs team that was down 3-1 to one and, and, and came back. Which, how do you, what do you take from that experience that allows you to maybe... Dif different situation, brother. Different situation. Um, you know, uh, being down 3-1 in, in the finals... Uh, you know, that, that's a totally different situation than compared to what we're into right now. And I don't even want to compare it uh, just out of respect for what that was uh, for the teammates I had and the journey. Um, and, you know, we have our guys in our locker room. Uh, my brothers are there. And, um, you know, this is something that's new for us as a group. And uh, I can individually say, you know, I did this, I did that. But it's a team game. And all I could do is show up tomorrow, be ready for film, and, and get ready for Monday's game. Uh, Kyrie. Steve Nass was just in here, and he said that you, you and um, Kevin are have to be tired just because, uh, based on how how hard you guys had to play towards the end of the season, how many minutes, and he also mentioned you fasting might be a, a contributing factor. I mean, how do you feel? Is that, um, you know, is that making you tired, or how how do your legs feel? Uh, my my legs feel okay. I, I think, um, you know, kind of in the. The flow of everything right now, I meaning just into the season, um, you know, then also fasting and just trying to find a balance there. That th those are things that attribute to uh, my day to day. But uh, you know, when I show out to the show up to the facility or the arena, there are no excuses that I have uh, for me being ready and prepared. Uh, I do everything I can to to be able to uh, make sure that I'm spiritually grounded and um, you know I'm respecting. Uh, my faith, and but also knowing that when I step into this building, uh, I don't want any excuses on my name. You know, uh, I just told everybody that's a journey with God that I respect. Um, but in terms of my play and stuff like that, um, you know, it just got to do better. Just got to do better. There's no, you know, don't want to sit up here and be like, hey, this or that. Just got to do better.